office and you write it down and then you read it, you do understand it. That's the neat thing about like it. When you first hear it, you think, what the hell was that all about? Like when, when he when he just left there, he said something. I, I really didn't know what he said. But then after he left, I started thinking about what he was saying. And I said, yeah, I know what he's saying. I know exactly what he's saying. Well, you know, it does. Julius Rich has showed off like Smokey the Bandito. And, you know, I'm not doing that at all. Now I can afford to do the finer things in life, like feeding ducks donuts. I mean, these are good fucking donuts, too. It just pisses me off. Like, you know, people talk about my brain, you know, it's not working good and stuff. Well, there's times in my life when it wasn't working that up to its best speeds and that. But now it's working pretty good. I mean, you see those little guys out there, well, their brains aren't quite as big and developed as these guys here. Like, see the bigger guys there, their brains are working really good. They come in the shore and they get the food and the little guys are trying and they're fighting them off. But I mean, those little ducks, they're kind of like Corey and Trevor. Corey and Trevor are still like little ducks. And I used to be a little duck, but now my brain's working like a big duck. And I know how to come in the shore and get the food. And Trevor and Corey are still out there like the little ducks. They don't know what the fuck's going on. And it's not their fault. Just their brains aren't, you know, growing up into the full-size duck brain. If you read what he says, you understand it. That's the thing about Ricky that a lot of people don't understand. Actually, I, I'm not understanding what you're talking about. It doesn't... If I wrote it down, you'd understand it. If I wrote it down exactly what I said right now, you'd say, oh, yeah, that it makes perfect sense. Well, I've written it down here. I have it here, and I just, I, and I've just read it, and it still doesn't make any sense. It's like you just, if you go, just leave it there, go away, come back to it another half hour, read it again, and you, and then you go, oh, you know, Ricky, you know, like that's the thing about Ricky. That's what I've noticed. And, you know, I mean, I sometimes, like, Ricky amazes me with some of the things that he says. And I go back and I, you know, I've written a lot of, I should show you some of the stuff. I, over the years that I've kept of Ricky's, that, uh, like he'll write me letters sometimes when he's in jail. And uh, you got to read them. You just, they're fantastic letters and uh, stuff that he said over the years. It's only a few things that can fit in Ricky's brain. And once you introduce something like a big fucking pile of money in there, it starts canceling out other things. Ricky's brain starts to, starts to show it out. As you go through life, you know, your brain gets better working. And my brain's working great right now. So it just pissed me off that people are questioning me. My, the last thing I expected was my dad to question me and stuff. And, you know, look at professional hockey players. You're not born like a professional hockey player. You have to practice and you get better. It's the same thing with brains. Brains, you practice with them and they get working better. And that's what I've done. I'm practicing a lot with my brain and now I think it's working pretty good. And I can make fucking good decisions. So I think everyone can just fuck off. And they can learn a lot from me. But this kind of stuff and I think everybody should come down and do this stuff once in a while as it helps you figure out life and but how you should be working and 